Oh, this quarantine. It's just such a breeze. There's no problems. I still get up. I do my makeup. I make myself look beautiful every day for me. Now, that's a lie. Honey, you're talking to future Lindsay. I've traveled in time so that you can see the look that I've created. And honey, it ain't pretty how I look before, which you'll see right after the intro. So let's get started. Okay, this is the reality of quarantine. This is what it's done to me. This is what I've become. I've become, what have I become? I've become a sloth, a gluttonous piggy. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone, you guys. Anyway, so today, we are going to go from this to where I was just before I time, I time traveled. I am a time traveler. So we are going to be um, pulling this together and making a little bit of an effort and doing a makeup tutorial and reviewing a couple products. Um, one of the products is the new Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation Fond de Tint. And one of them is the regular matte or the regular original one. And then the other one is the luminous one or luminous. Dewy. Dewy luminous. So that's the new one. And this is what they look like. So we're going to test that out. I recently stumbled across a new eyeshadow. Uh, it's spelled D-I-T-O, Eco, Eco Earth Shade Palette, but they do a whole bunch of other palettes, and this one I just thought was particularly beautiful. I was really drawn to the green shade right here. I just thought that was so pretty. So we're going to try this. Um, it's a kind of an indie brand, I think, and... Um, use some products that I might have not used before and uh, we're going to pull ourselves together right after I eat my sponsored snack of the day which is a good humor chocolate eclair ice cream bar of course it is Mm. I'm waiting for the ice cream shortage to hit. Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. I love this. I used to get these when I was a kid. And the ice cream truck would come around. What a weird thing that is. A stranger... In a creepy, beat-up van with sweets for your children. And you're like, yeah, go get ice cream. Here, honey, here's some money. Go buy sweets from a stranger in a creepy clown truck. Times, times, these times, they are changing. Especially with coronavirus. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how many days I've been on quarantine. I was over 16 when I thought, oh, thank heavens. 
I've got through the 14 days, so I don't have the COVID-19 virus. And when I go to the store, I'm like super careful. Oh. <laughs> what world do we live in right now? I did look at my phone twice today to see what day it was. Mm. I keep seeing these posts, people working out, FaceTiming working out. Oh. It just makes me tired to watch them. I could take advantage of this time and come out of this looking like a bow. Derek. I was going to say bow. Fucking Derek. But I thought I should be careful because I don't know who's watching. So I have some very religious um, subscribers and I have some teenage subscribers. So I don't know. But I, I do curse. I don't curse in front of my mom. So you think I would be able to refrain from here, but here, you know what? I'm look at me. Hello. Here I want to just remain a hundred percent myself. I don't want to edit myself. I want to show you how to edit yourself with me editing myself with makeup. But I don't mind showing you this because this is this is the reality. Um yeah, I think I need to wash this uh, sweatshirt. <sighs> this in combination with this. And his annex really works. Get off your ass. Get off your bed or your couch. Stop watching your Netflix. Get your makeup. And let's do something with this. Just because we're confined doesn't mean that we can't look good. Plus, it makes you feel a little better. I don't know. But it's fun to play with makeup. And if you're learning makeup along with me, then this what a wonderful time to practice because you know all these people have hobbies and things maybe you don't have that crafting thumb and um, this is something that you can play with and do and practice in front of the mirror and um, look cute going to the mailbox or taking out the trash or when you have to face the apocalypse and go out to the grocery store. So, okay, I'm gonna stop talking about the coronavirus. I'm gonna stop talking about quarantine. Let's play with makeup. Let's have some fun. And if you like me, it, um, give it a thumbs up if you like the video so far. Um, and please, if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified of my post, then hit this, the bell, ring the bell, and hit all. And it will notify you when I've uploaded a new video. And my goal is trying to do two videos a week now, at least during this time, uh, to give you guys some entertainment, maybe some laughs, and, uh, and some fun makeup tips. And uh, just play and talk together. So I'm gonna freshen up. Mmm. With my Neutrogena wipe. Oh gosh, it feels so good. I don't think I even washed my face today. I think I just got up and I was just like, ah, fuck it. But, you know, I do, no matter how I'm feeling, I always, always do my mom's makeup. I do her hair. I put jewelry on. I pick her out a cute outfit every single day. Even if we're not expecting any company, I'm gonna use a CeraVe PM uh, for moisturizer. Yeah, cause that's important. 
we saw an old friend of my mom's at church. And uh, boy, her family had neglected her. She was in like a bathrobe. Her hair was just like greasy and unwashed. No makeup on. She was so neglected. And I just thought, oh my gosh. Um. So yeah, I try to, I, I do. I don't try, I do it every single day. Another thing, get your good perfume out and wear some. Mm, oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, this is, if you guys are an Angel fan, I have all the Angels. This is a limited edition. It's my favorite that's ever come out. It's the Angel Eau Crosser. Crosser. Eau Crosser. E-A-U-C-R-O-I-S-I-E-R. Why am I talking like that? I A R A A A R R. Yeah, so that's it. And it's like got this um, really cool, like blue and pink bottle. And oh, I love it. I'm probably going to have to go get another one because I am scared they're really going to be limited edition and then they'll stop making it. That really pisses me off. Okay, and let's do something with our hair. For the heaven's sakes, do something. Something with your hair. Take it out of the ponytail. Take it out of the bun. You don't have to do much. Taking a little Moroccan oil, running it through. Give it some shine. And it smells good. Oh my gosh, is that a gray hair? Oh. They need to have tests. For hairdressers and manicurists. And they should be quarantined in their salon with a cot and provisions so that we can get our hair and nails done. There, so I just, you know, put a little style in it. I'm just making an effort here. Doesn't take much, makes you feel better. Again, this smells. You guys, the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday Body Mist, I use this as a room freshener. It just smells so yummy. Mmm. Scents and smells help your anxiety. If you ever having panic attacks, spray your favorite perfume or body mist and breathe it in and um, it will really, really help more angels. Okay, now I, I smell, oh, that just relaxed me. Oh, let's ring our bell. You guys are gonna be like, that bell's getting old. Okay, enough with the damn singing bell. Girl, I like you, but that singing bell is getting on my last nerve. You may find it relaxing, but it sends a piercing arrow through my brain, through my ear canal. Please stop doing that. Why is she doing that? Howard, she rang the damn bell again. All right, so hair's done. I'm going to go put a bra on and put a sweater or sweatshirt on, um, something that's just clean. Okay, that's better. I'm starting to feel more human. See, it just doesn't take much. I just put some earrings on, um, some jewelry. I put a cozy sweater on and a comfortable bra that I got to have comfort when if I'm going to wear a bra inside the house um you know what you don't have to wear a bra inside the house it's good, you know whatever so today I don't know if I've used this um primer before but it's a Fenty 
it's the Fenty primer and if you don't want to invest in the big bottle they got the little one um, on Sephora and Sephora is actually offering free shipping right now why do we always make faces when we do our makeup I'm using the Fenty because it actually works really well with everything it works well with all my foundations so I'm gonna do my color correcting really quick and uh, then we're gonna check out the wet and wild and see if it's as good as people say it is okay so I think on this side of the face I'm gonna do the original this is the one that everyone says is the the stuff and this I think it's like six dollars at the pharmacy oh screw off oh oh it's got like a doe foot okay okay so we're gonna just put that on so I can get that side of the face itself is kind of luminous it's it's pretty good I can see what they're talking about I had to go in to get a little more coverage but that's nice all right on this side let's go in with the new one the dewy it's gonna be a little off until I get my contour and bronzer and blush on because um, they didn't have the same shade in the luminous Coverage. Well, I'll, okay, I went in again with the other one, so let me do the same on this side. I'm just going to add a little bit more. It's not bad. It's very luminous. Okay. I give it a pass. It's not bad. I mean, it performs very well. It performs better than a lot of higher end foundations that I already have. So, um, yeah, I like it. I, I recommend it. And both are really good. And I haven't even gone in with my concealer. My concealer, I'm going to go in with the Doll Face Concealer. So I went back and I got the warmer color. And um, this stuff is uh, kind of a dream. I'm, I'll tell you right now, when I do my faves video, this will definitely be in with my concealers. concealer.
and it plays well with others too. For my powder today, I'm going to be using Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, and I just love this so much. Um, it's a, it was like a, started up by this gal, and she's, um, she grew this brand, and she really made it something major. Um, now she's in all the cosmetic stores, and it's really really good this powder and she's got a lot of she's got all kinds of things in her product line um and it's really cute the flower powder comes in like a little it almost looks like a little flower like a paper flower bag um the branding is really cute and then there was major drama because huda did an ad campaign and kind of copied this new independent woman's brand and who was was already huge so there was a little little drama there in the beauty community but this really is a lovely powder it's going to be hard to narrow down my powders for my favorites because there are there are quite a few really really good ones so finely milled and the color I'm in is oat translucent okay oh, and they, again again it, they play well with others the foundation the concealer the powder they're all like going so nice together um, I'm gonna do a quick contour and then we'll do blush bronzer and highlighter and again you want to go under your cheekbone and you want to bring that down down back and then your jawline And don't forget your neck. I'm gonna go pretty light today with my contouring. You don't have to always go in like a lunatic with your contour. Just remember, you're, you have to make your hair, you have to make your makeup do what you want it to do. And you need to be in search of products that work for you and your skin type and your skin uh, in general. Uh, if you have mature skin, if you have young skin, if you have dry skin, if you have oily skin. I have normal to dry skin, although since I've been using the um, CeraVe regularly, I, um, my skin isn't dry anymore. It's just kind of normal. And then I'm going to go in with my little brush and I'm going to do my little, uh, contouring tricks here, here. I'm gonna do the little lip trick, the Scott Barnes lip trick, where I'm gonna actually contour my lips on the outside. I'm gonna overline with the contour with a flat and brush. And there, 
you know what? I I am me. So take it or leave it. I'm going in with a Stila blush, and this is called Magnificence. This is like kind of nice rosy color. And I need a blush, brush. I need a blush, brush. Do -do -do. Blush, blush. See? I'm already getting happy. I'm already getting. I'm already feeling good. I'm not that sad creature that was here a little while ago. This is a really pretty color. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with a highlighter before I do my bronzer because I want to kind of mellow it out a little bit with the bronzer. So I'm going to use um, Stila. No, I'm sorry. I'm using Jouer, and this is called Citrine. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Wow. It is bright, but not glittery. Damn. Ooh. You want a good highlighter. That Jouer is uh, kick-ass. Okay, let's do our bronzer. Even out my face. Give it a little color. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced. I love this chocolate gold. And this bronzer, oh my gosh, it smells like chocolate. Don't forget the girls. And there, I'm done with that. Now I gotta do brows, my most favorite thing in the whole wide world. Not Peri Para. It's an Asian brand, and it's called Speedy Skinny Brow. to start at the ends and then I like to overline the top not all the way to the beginning but come in about a quarter and then I like to overline like that Okay, and then all I do is fill it in. When I get to the center, I like to just do strokes only. In the same direction as your hair grows. So you see I've got some going up, some going at an angle. I'm just going 
gonna take the um, little comb, brush them up, make sure I don't have any like patches in there. And if I do, just go in a little more. If you have like a little bald spot or a little patchy area. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Alme um, Brow Styler. are done and then I'm going to take my little Tati blendiful heart and I'm gonna put my eye primer on and this is my Mac painterly paint pot and I'm ready for more stuff And now if you just really want to stop there, you actually can. You can stop there, put some lip gloss on, uh, and then, um, or a liquid lip, just quick one coat, something with a sheen would be nice, which I'm gonna use. Um, and then just go, maybe put a little highlighter on your lid, uh, and a, you could just do a tiny bit of mascara on your upper lash. If you wanna add more, you could put on your lower lash. So it's all building, building, building. Uh, but then if you want that really natural look, that would suffice. And you'll look great. And when you catch yourself in the mirror, you'll feel good. Your hubby, you'll feel good. Your roommate, you're more pleasing to look at. And uh, so, yeah, you could stop there. But this is a, a part of my channel. A lot of my channel is beauty and makeup tutorials. So we're gonna keep going. So I'm gonna go in my Rimmel Addiction. You know, I have a hundred lipsticks, I have a hundred lip glosses. I have, I have maybe, no, I don't know how many lip liners I have. I was gonna say I only have three. Let me, let me check. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16. Okay, but you know what? The one I reach for is my Rimmel Addiction, which I just pushed, did the last click. And I'm going over that contour line. And now I'm going to use, here it is. This is a Flower Beauty, and this is a metallic liquid lipstick. Miracle Matte Metallic Liquid Lip, and this is in the color Foiled Rose. Um, it's kind of a, it's more coppery looking to me than rose, but it, I think it has just like a pink undertone. No, definitely copper. And that is Drew Barrymore's company, Flower Beauty. So this is really pretty. So I could actually stop here, but you know me, more is more. I'm waiting for my lips to dry. I'm gonna put a little lip gloss on it and I'm gonna go in with Beauty Bakery. This is uh, called Holy Cannoli. It's like a creamy color. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my lower lip. my upper lip. That's, that's copper. Nothing rose about it, but I looked at the Dito Eco Earth Shade Palette, and there's a really pretty, um, kind of a clay color, and I'm going to use that 
predominantly on my crease. And I'm gonna go in with that color. And that color is called, and this is a really inexpensive product as well. The color is called Vega. Actually, I'll just go over the colors really quick from left to right, top to bottom. Uh, Gemini, Alto, Luna, Aries, what the shit is that? Lib M, L I B M. Okay, forget, I'm not trying that. Vega, that's the one I'm using. Capricorn, Aurora, and Binary Star. They got some weird name. They're smoking. They're smoking some stuff over there in their makeup factory. Oh, that's pretty. That's got a lot of payoff right from the get go. And now you see why I chose this lipstick. gonna go into I think I'm gonna go into this that weird name I'm not saying it but it's like that creamy color creamy with like a Bella bellow a yellow beige undertone And then on my lid, oh, I don't know. I kind of want to do that green. Should I do the green? No, no, I don't, I don't want to do the green, but for the sake of the video, the reason I bought this palette was for this green color, Aurora. So I think I'm, I think I'm going to go there. I'm just going to do it because you know what? I'm not going anywhere. Let's maybe we'll find a new favorite look. Sometimes that happens when I'm just playing and picking colors. This one has um, a shimmer to it. So I'm actually going to spray that a little bit. Oh, with some setting spray. I don't know. I mean, all these tones are kind of earthy, so hopefully this will be okay. That's pretty. I think as long as you don't use too much. earthy look now that's got some kickback I don't know if it was because of the brush and the spray okay let me see if there's any fallout damage Hi, Skinny. How are you, my lady? How are you? Are you filming with me? I love that she sits with me. And again, if you get any 
ball out, just get a nice little brush and flick it away. Flick, flick, flick. If you ever have mascara, wait for it to dry. Wait for it to dry and then get like an eyebrow brush, something, you know, really sharp kind of. And you just want to like kind of flick that away after it's dried. Otherwise, you're going to get a big hot mess on your hands. Okay, now what the hell do I want to do? I don't think I want to use any more of these colors. So, I have my good old Going Coconuts palette. I swear I use this thing so much, it's not even funny. And with this, I'm going to go in with the, what do I want? The dark brown? The medium brown. I'm going to do the dark brown here. Just on those outside corners. Continue to smoke out that under eye. Just gonna do a really nice smoky look here. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that darker brown a little bit more. to take that same brush I used with that clay color and I'm just going to blend it out to give it that airbrush look. Okay, so I smoked out the bottom lash line. I just really wanted just a really nice soft smoky eye there once you put your mascara on it will look more defined um but i think it's a really it's just a nice romantic look and then i think i want to go in with a liner uh after I top off my lid just a little bit with Coco Crush from the Going Coconuts palette. It's like a pretty taupey um, shimmer. And I'm just going to use my finger for that. And I'm just going to just touch it lightly. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That did it. That did the trick. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a liner. And I'm going to go in with this really pretty, soft, brownie color from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is called... It's Pillow Talk. <coughs> oh, no! <coughs> okay. Pillow Talk Eyeliner. So, I'm going to take this on my upper lid. It's a very unusual brown. It almost has like a little, I don't know.
like an auburn color to it. It's like an auburn brown. And I'm gonna take this on the inside too. So pretty. I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm just going to kind of blend that out on the ends. Well, I'm just going to blend it out a little. Because I want it to make sense and look good with the smoky eye on the bottom. And again, it's all about blending, blending, blending. Okay, what a soft, romantic look. This would be a nice fall look as well. Okay, so I'm done with the makeup. I'm going to put my lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I got some lashes on, and I went with a really, really delicate lash because I didn't, this look was so soft and kind of romantic. I didn't want to do um, a thicker lash. I don't usually wear thicker lashes. I like the Ardell Wispies the most, um, but I'm always trying new lashes. And um, these I actually got by the way, great place to get lashes uh, if you're practicing or new uh, is TJ Maxx and Marshalls when they open again. Sorry, but um, yeah, like I picked this up. It was $8 for one, two, three, four, five sets. And these are Andrea and it's called Five of a Kind Value Pack. Doesn't say what kind they are. Maybe Andrea, five of a kind. And it was, uh, it actually came with a little lash applicator. Um, but I don't care for these. I like my tweezers when I'm doing it. So that's the look. Sorry for rambling. I do that. Um, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you guys so much for coming. Everyone, hang in there. Think about when you're going stir crazy at home. I just read this. Uh, someone posted it. But when you're going crazy at home, think about the people that are in the hospital that are on ventilators, um, praying for another day for their lives. So keep that in mind when you're going crazy with um, isolation. What, no, what is it? Quarantine. When you're in quarantine, because I know I'm climbing the walls. I'm like a cat in heat. Um, that, I don't know where that came from, but yeah, no, I'm climbing the walls. So, ha! Ah, I'll be so glad when this is over, um, or a semblance of normal is back again and it's safe to go outside but I think masks are probably going to be the new norm um, which people hate that phrase but you know in South Korea and China people wear masks all the time and it's become like a cultural thing because they dealt with other things like SARS and so they're used to it so we have a pandemic and we are now starting to wear masks and I think in a couple days, people are going to get used to it. And who knows? We could have fun with it. Um, we can accessorize our masks. We can bedazzle them. Let's bedazzle our masks. But um, again, rambling on and on and on and on. You guys, I'm going to go uh, let you watch uh, whatever you want to do. and Or, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's it's 
when it's that time that if it's surreal. <sighs> you guys, God bless you. are all in my prayers. I love you so much and I appreciate you all so much. And I want you to have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time it may be. And thank you again for tuning in. And I hope I could be a distraction for you. Love you. Bye. Welcome to the future. This is what it looks like. It's not pretty. Spray your favorite. But no, stop it. Stop it. Those thoughts, they just go come in my head. What's that smell like? Ass. And I hope that this is one of the ones that I bought in my drugstore eyebrow breakdown moment. It sounds so, don't be scared of makeup. It's really, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, but again, you don't need. I don't know what the hell I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know what you don't need. I don't even know. I don't know what I don't need. I don't. Well, no, I do know what I don't need. I don't need any more carbs, starch, and lard in my tummy and to have them once you <sighs> I'm just taking it off putting my sweats back again and getting into my snacks and eating and being a gluttonous pig my 600 pound life here I come okay I shouldn't do that that's very inconsiderate of people who have weight issues. That would be me.